Hey there, everybody. It's Mike Delicio with another Dice Tower Daily Unboxing. And today, we're going to be taking a look at Godzilla Tokyo Clash. Two to four players from Funko Games. And I've got to tell you, right now, looking at that cover, I think you either know if you are very excited about this game or not. Because this is really appealing to the old school Godzilla fans, I think. It really has that kind of classic appearance. This is coming from the Prospero Hall design team who have really been making quite a splash in the board gaming hobby over the last couple of years. They have really, really come out with some pretty big IP uh, games. And here's another one. Ultimate Battle for Kaiju Dominance. Four massive miniatures, four monster card decks, 13 buildings. All right. So look, it looks like you've got Godzilla, King Ghidorah, Mothra, or Megalon to fight and see who is the ultimate kaiju. Let's take a look. Did I miss one of these? Nope. It's just being stubborn. Okay. So, who will be crowned king of the monsters? We've got our board set up. You've got different, looks like a modular setup board for depending on the number of players. Obviously a smaller map for a smaller player count. And then you've got your player set up. Phases, played in rounds with four phases, the Oxygen Destroyer phase, the Action phase, the Refresh, refresh phase, and the Event phase. And then it goes into more detail about all of those four phases. And I do love the art. You've got some nice examples here. You can throw vehicles. You can throw Kaiju. That's nice. Destroying buildings and vehicles. You've got large buildings, towers, power plants, military bunkers, radar dishes. You've got small buildings that are made up of, looks like, tokens. Dealing damage. I assume there's going to be a lot of that in this game. I imagine that's the whole goal. Ranged attacks. All right. End of game. And then you've got some description of the different cards. And then you've got our four kaiju here that give you their special abilities along with a game summary. All right, well, let's take a look. I'm gonna save these for the last. Yes, we've got some plastic cubes. We've got a number of tiles. I'm just gonna show a few of these. Actually, just a couple of them I think is fine. You get the idea. These are single-sided tiles, modular tiles, hexes that you put together to form a map. Saving the plastic to the end. We've got some Cardboard tokens, some of the small buildings, some of the fighter jets, point values, things along those lines. You can kind of see what those are all about. We've got our kaiju here. I think it's going to be like this. You've got your deck over here, your discard over here, your enhancements here. Ability, the head meter for King Ghidorah with their other abilities. There you've got Godzilla. There you've got Megalon, Mothra. Oh yeah. We've got a little kind of sideboard, the event cards. Rush Hour, Zillion Invasion. Lightning generators. Okay. These look all like different kind of scenarios. If I can I'm just trying to guesstimate there, I don't know for sure, but that's kind of what it looks like. Look at some of the cards you'll be playing. It's a big deck of cards there. It looks like these are cards that are all unique to each kaiju. So these are King Ghidorah's cards. Triple beam, gravity beam, the screech card. Go for the throat! Yeah, I do like that art. It's pretty sweet. Again, I think that you're going to know just by looking at this whether this is a game for you or not. Um, if you've got kind of that nostalgia for the old school Godzilla movies, 
maybe even the cartoons. This is probably something that is exciting to you. Here's Godzilla with his victory pose. Heat Ray, crushing grip. Bellowing roar. Just going through these quickly, of course. All right. Two more decks we'll go through quickly. Let's look at Megalon. Actually, that was Godzilla. This is Megalon. Horn laser. The piercing drill. All right. And then finally, we'll take a look at Mothra here. Gusts of wind. Yeah, these are pretty sweet looking. Supersonic flight. All right. And then finally, we're going to take a look at the plastic. Let's look at some of these buildings. See some of the large buildings there. Got the radar station. These are all pretty... Pretty substantial pieces of plastic, and there's a number of them here. And then finally, we'll look at the kaiju, which they almost look to have a wash to them. Here's Mothra. Yeah. I think Mothra is on this stand. Pretty sure that Mothra is going to be on the stand there. Megalon. There we go. Let's go with a three-headed King Ghidra. You could definitely see a wash on this. I think there's a bit of a wash on all of them, but it really comes through to me a lot on Ghidra here. Yeah. And then... Let's end with the eponymous monster of the, of the box, the game's namesake, Godzilla. Many call him the king of the monsters. There you go. All right. Well, I think that gives you a pretty good idea of what you're going to find inside the box of Godzilla Tokyo Clash. Thank you for watching another Dice Tower Daily Unboxing.